Jimmy Olsen, as I played him, I figured, though he was very eager, that there were areas that he was a bit dim <laughs> because he could never see that uh, Clark Kent was Superman just because of this pair of, of, of glasses when he had him on. And sometimes we played the scenes, there were several scenes where George uh, Reeves, my Superman, and Clark Kent, where he couldn't wear the glasses, he fell through a show, stall shower one, and still Jimmy didn't recognize him. So I played Jimmy as though he was ever so eager, and it worked because he got into trouble constantly but in the, there was ways, though he was a good reporter, he wasn't all that acute. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and that was early on. The first 26, he was really just a juvenile in trouble when we shot in 51. But then somewhere along the way, they discovered that I had a talent for comedy which is what I would love to have been a two-reel comedian at Hal Roach Studio down the way, where, where they shot Laurel and Hardy and all these things. That's I would love to have done that silent uh, thing. Well, I came along too late, but I came along in time for Superman. So as they saw that I had some talent for comedy, they started making uh, Jimmy, putting him in situations where they could utilize this. and. Uh, and so Jimmy became more comic, uh, and uh, and I loved it. And they would let me work up bits of comic business, but they'd always say to me, okay, you've got one chance at it. There would be a piece of business, like with a telephone, you'd be doing things. I remember once the telephone, I wanted him to take off a mustache, he had on a fake mustache, and I wound up the telephone, I was gonna hold it up, and I wanted to take it off. They said, one, because we didn't do a lot of shooting on Superman. He said, you got one take to make it work, then otherwise forget it. It was always that case with my business. I get comic business. And uh, and then in that case, it worked. <laughs> it took off the mustache. And uh, you can see my joy as an actor uh, <laughs> when this worked. Uh, and the great thing about shooting the Superman show was that the movie industry was uh, uh, not doing well at the time, so we worked with marvelous actors, who Sterling Holloway, Elijah Cook Jr., Elizabeth Patterson, who had been wonderful in Paramount films, uh, everybody good, along with our cast. Uh, I mean, of course, John Hamilton, who was my Perry White, George, uh, Noel, uh, Phyllis Coates, uh, they were wonderful. But the character actors who came through were the cream of the crop of character actors, and a lot of them had been in vaudeville or comedy, and uh, like Sterling Holloway, who'd worked with Lubitsch, and so Sterling Holloway were working, and I'd be trying to do a bit of business with him or something, and he'd look at me and say, you want me to tell you what you're doing wrong? And I'd say, yes, please, tell me. And he said, well, you're throwing your skull at the wrong, the skull is when you look up at somebody. He said, you're throwing it in the wrong place. You're throwing the skull up. He says, you want to you wanna, you wanna do that? Now? And then throw the skull. You know what a skull is, it's a, it's a look. And so they would help me, and there was a wonderful prop man who'd been a vaudevillian, Sam Hirsch. And so then Sam would always stand off, because uh, 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 out of the sight lines, with our prop man, and say, and if I do it right, I'd work out, he'd see me working out a bit of comic business, and if I do it right, Sam would smile at me. I'd look at Sam, not at the director, who didn't care. They just wanted to please me and get on with the next shot. But if I do it right and I'd look at Sam, he'd go like this, he'd go, <laughs> like that. And, uh, and so that was, uh, and so Jimmy became a more of a comic juvenile than a straight juvenile in peril. And this was much to my delight because I loved doing this.